Hey guys, welcome back to some more epic Minecraft today. George, I can literally see your bamboo forest from here. Oh my God. Which is great, because if they grew any slower, my house won't be done before Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, we gotta trade some gifts like your four diamonds for my four jungle saplings if you wanna grow jungle trees around your stupid base. What does trading gifts gotta do with Christmas? I'm pretty sure normal people don't trade gifts. They just exchange gifts, which is mildly different from a trade, because trading would suggest that there is an expectation of receiving something of roughly equal value, which is not what people do for Christmas. Okay, it's too early for your smart assery. Now, do we have a deal, George? I don't see why you can't just get diamonds yourself. Well, I mean, you can't find that jungle yourself either. Okay, fine, I'll come over there with my diamonds. Oh, please don't come over here. I'm not really into that. Get your mind out of the gutter, Gavin. Ooh, I think I'll put some of these flowers outside my house. Wow, that is totally manly, Ron. What about flowers is not manly, Gavin. For someone who claims to love nature, it's weird you call flowers something only woman should like. Jesus, you're talkative today, Ron. All right, you got the good shit? As long as you got my green shit. Here you go, bitch. Thanks. Hey, do you want to see what my base looks like? Not really, but sure. It's just over here, and it's ten times better than yours. I highly doubt that. Uh, George, this is the strangest place to possibly put a house. You know that, right? You're just not imaginative. Well, I can imagine my house looking ten times better than this shitty little place. It's not about the size, it's about the character, both things you don't have. Oh man, George, that was a brutal one, nice. I hate you both. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to my base. Why don't you go back to your kids, since from what I heard, they are watching Joe Rogan ironically. Please don't remind me about that. I wake up screaming, knowing my kids are doing something like that. I wake up screaming because I saw your mom in my dream. Fuck you, George. So wait, why again can't your kids listen to Joe Rogan? Because I don't want them listening to someone I don't like. Who would want their kids listen to any of us? Shouldn't they be watching cartoons or something? Jeroge, that's the stupidest thing I've heard this week. You know damn well there's no good cartoons anymore. Why did you call me Jeroge? Because I felt like it. All right, I just made some diamonds boots. That's what you used my diamonds for. I mean, yeah, what else would I have used them for? A diamond pickaxe and a shovel or four jukeboxes? Or a diamond sword and a diamond hoe? I already got a diamond hoe from the ancient city from yesterday. Oh, well, then you could have made a diamond sword and then a... I don't give a fuck, George. I made diamond boots, and I'm happy with just that. Jesus Christ, man. Anyways, now I'm going to get a shit ton of wood. What do you need a shit ton of wood for? Oh, I don't know. Maybe one of the infinite amount of purposes wood is for. Well, then what was the point in announcing you're getting a shit ton of wood? Well, I'm going to make a bunch of chiseled bookshelves and use them as a fancy floor block in my house. How the fuck do you know about the chiseled bookshelves that were added in 1.20? but you had no clue what the ancient city was when you found one. Well, I knew it existed. I just didn't know what it was called and what was in it. So, in other words, you didn't know anything about it? Yeah, pretty much. But honestly, I saw someone on Reddit using it as a building block. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Who the fuck still uses Reddit? I'm currently on this new thing called MySpace and I love it. Huh, of course you do, George. Let's go, I got a nice big jungle tree. That's what I gave your mom last night. Come on, dude, really? Yes, really, ha ha. Maybe you should just stick to your campaign as a joke. That way people can actually laugh at your jokes. You're the biggest joke of California. And you're the biggest joke of Florida. And Chris Christie is the biggest of them all. Oh wait, he's not on the server yet. That would have been a God tier insult. Yeah, that would have because he causes earthquakes going outside. You think he'll join the server? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to call the chair store to see if they have any that can have a mountain sit on them without falling. Speaking of mountains, your mother and I broke some chairs last night. God damn it, George. Oh, wow. These chiseled bookshelves look pretty sick. It's almost like it's not even vanilla Minecraft. Aren't the bookshelves supposed to be used as a shelf for books instead of a building block? Is your face supposed to be used as toilet paper? What a shitty comeback. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, shouldn't your face be used as a traffic cone? But that would make more sense if you were Trump due to the color of his face. Okay, well, I'll tell him that once I become president in 2025 and am allowed in the president's server, I don't think you'll be joining that server this decade, Ron. Yeah, dude, you're polling worse than me and I'm not even running. Fake news, Newsom. Bro, you stole that line from Trump? Yeah, 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 whatever, bitch. All right, now I just gotta chop down this entire jungle tree and hope to God it drops more than four saplings so I can have more than one jungle tree. Why do you need so many jungle trees, George? My house is in between two giant rocks. I need to spruce it up a bit. Well, then maybe you should have just built your house in a more normal area. Maybe you should just shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up. I want shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Both of you shut the hell up.
man, this hoe is so great. I don't know, Gavin, your wife isn't really all that great. And your wife is shorter than a tree stump. No, dude, that's Glenn Youngkin's wife, who is short. He should join the server too. Okay, I'm not gonna have 50 fucking governors on this server that would just get too chaotic and laggy. Huh, I wonder what's glowing down there. Oh, it was just some glow lichen. Let's go, the jungle tree dropped five saplings now. I just need to get some more bone meal to grow them. Uh, you do realize they grow on their own, right? Yeah, but that takes too long. Hey, impatient bitch. Whoa, what's this weird sphere of purple shit? Oh, that must be an amethyst geode. Okay, and what the fuck is it? A geode of amethyst blocks. Wow, thank you for the extra information, so helpful. Oh my god, these skeletons are so goddamn annoying. Speaking of skeletons, can I go in that giant cave under your house, Ron, to kill some skeletons? Well, yeah, why the hell not, as long as you are not doing something to my house or anything. What would I do to your house? I don't know. Hmm, this white stuff kind of looks like marble. Maybe I can use it as a fancy building block for my house. It's calcite, not marble. I don't give a fuck what it's called. I like the texture. Holy shit, there's so many skeletons in this cave. Ha, ah, I got the creeper to blow up the skeletons. That's a pretty Obama-like move. Oh, shit. I accidentally fell into the ancient city Gavin found. Oh, hey, that's near the jungle. If you get a few saplings, Bush will give you a few diamonds for them. Nah, I'm good. I don't need any more anyway, unless I get extremely bad luck and they don't drop any saplings. Holy crap, this place is bigger than, than the wardrobe Gavin's mother owns. Why would my mother's wardrobe be that big? Because just one sweater of hers is 13 X's before the letter L. Speaking of L's, your L will be huge in the primaries. Fuck you. Adding fish into the game was the best decision ever because I need food and there is less animals spawning around here than the numbers Ron has in his poles. How about I shove a pole up your ass? Sounds pretty gay though. Oh, no wonder it took me so damn long to get up onto the surface I was mining through a dang mountain. Wait, what the hell am I stuck in? Probably powdered snow. Stop making Hunter Biden jokes. Now, what am I stuck in? No, it really is powdered snow. You can actually freeze to death if you're in it too long. They must not have added global warming into the game then. Oh shit, my heart's turned blue. You should probably get out of that snow soon. You should probably just fuck off. Hey, I was just trying to give you some helpful information. Oh damn it, this jungle tree doesn't have too many leaves. Maybe I'll need some extra saplings after all. You know, you could just grow acacia trees there. It would be a lot easier since they are everywhere. Yeah, but jungle trees are better. Acacia trees suck ass. I think they are pretty cool though. No one cares. Jeez Louise, the hostility today is record breaking. And your primary polls are so record breaking, they might even go into the negatives. Will you shut the fuck up about polls already? You sound like a broken record with salt on top. I thought playing a game like Minecraft would be calming. There's nothing calming about being stuck in this damn powdered snow. It's annoying as hell. All right, well, since there's a giant lava lake here, I guess I'll quick pop in the nether. But wait, I haven't seen you get the diamonds achievement. How are you gonna go there without a diamond pickaxe? Haven't you ever heard of the bucket method? Uh, yeah, isn't that where you put a bucket over Gavin's head so that when he goes out in public, people don't laugh at him? Hey! No, the bucket method is where you use a bucket to create obsidian with water and lava, forming a nether portal without having to mine obsidian individually with a diamond pickaxe. That kind of sounds like cheating, though. It's literally not. All right, hopefully I don't spawn somewhere shitty. Like California? California is better than Texas and Florida combined. Texas is bigger, though. Hmm, okay. I spawned in a soul sand valley. What's the soul sand valley? It's a biome in the nether where a bunch of skeletons spawn and fossils made out of bone blocks. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the kind of place I need so that I have a shit ton of bone meal to grow these jungle trees faster. Well then go to the nether. I don't have the tools for that shit at the moment. I don't even have a proper amount of food. Well that's your problem, not mine. Well, I didn't know Ron's mother spawned up here in the mountains. Oh, haha, ha, yeah, very funny. I don't get it. He called my mom a goat. How oh, that's pretty funny. No, it isn't. But you just said it was very funny, Ron. I was being sarcastic. Which is what I thought you were when you announced you were running. Shut up. All right, my house finally has some windows. Good for you. And I just finished my chiseled bookshelf floor, which looks fancy as fuck. Let's see if I can kill this ghast with its own fireball. Let's fucking go. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to head out and enjoy some Skittles, since Gavin decided to ban them. Oh yeah, same, I should get eat a bunch in retaliation because that's so fucking stupid. Well, Skittles is bad. I mean, okay, people shouldn't be eating candy. Okay, they should just eat healthy greens. Oh, don't worry, I'll eat a bunch of the green Skittles. You better not take away M&Ms from me next, Gavin. You don't even live in my state. Oh, right. <laughs>